Australians have a sweet tooth and it's only getting sweeter. We're eating more sugar than ever before and as a result we're putting on more weight and getting unhealthier. And as Helen Wellings reports, we're also in danger of passing on our sugar addiction to future generations. Sugar is like poison to me. One of the big things I noticed when I quit sugar um, was that I got clear in my head. My energy was so much more even and I guess I became a nicer person. Australians are pigging out more and more on sugar-laden fatty foods. Now, the new scientific evidence. We're not just damaging our health, but future generations. The high levels of fat and sugar that we're consuming in our diet today affects our DNA, and this can be passed on to our progeny. Our children. Our children, and our children's children. Two in three adults are overweight, one in five obese. The rates have actually doubled in seven years. And we're passing on that sugar and fat addiction to our kids, along with illnesses like high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, hormone imbalances, liver damage. This is what we're filling up on every day. Sugary, fatty foods. Some of the biggest sellers in the supermarket. In the 19th century, our diet included around one kilogram of sugar a year, mainly fruit. Now, this is what we're eating, 50 kilograms a year. That's one kilogram of sugar a week. The average person's eating about 28 teaspoons of sugar a day. That's a phenomenal amount. A healthy target that you can achieve with a balanced diet is about 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's 50 grams a day. Nutritionist Matt O'Neill of Metabolic Jumpstart. There's no doubt sugar's addictive like a drug. They just need their sugar fix and their sugar hit. Dr Amanda sainsbury Salas of the Garvin Institute of Medical Research is calling for regulations controlling our overconsumption of fatty sugary foods because of the changes they cause to the DNA chemicals, changes which can be inherited. Even if your children eat the healthiest diet in the world, they can have a higher predisposition towards problems such as excess weight, diabetes and atherosclerosis. We've got the emotional addiction and of course the physical addiction and, and both have been proven as existing. Um, I found that it took about six to eight weeks to break both sort of habits. It's great because I can actually eat sweet things that don't contain sugar. Journalist and author Sarah Wilson suffered an autoimmune disease, but she transformed her life by quitting sugar. She wrote this eight-week program, which is followed by 15,000 people who want to quit. The biggest, biggest thing that most people notice is the clear, clearness in the head. They wake up with a clear mind and it continues for the whole day. This here is only a small amount. You've got a nut bar, which there's a teaspoon and a half of sugar in that. There's a handful, like 50 grams of dried fruit, which has got four teaspoons of sugar. And then for five snakes, you've got five teaspoons of sugar. That's a teaspoon in every snake. You add all those snacks, you get 10 and a half teaspoons of sugar. That's a 250ml glass of juice. It's got five teaspoons of sugar just in that alone so you should limit juice and try and eat your fruit instead of have it as a liquid. Go for two to three pieces of fruit a day but what we keep craving is fructose the added sugar in sweets some yogurts and cereals. The danger is fructose can only be processed by the liver and stored as fat. So when you drink a glass of, say, apple juice, it's going straight to your liver as pure fat the instant that you actually put it in your mouth. Um, and on top of that, your brain and your body and your metabolism isn't actually registering that you're drinking or eating something. So we keep eating. Sugar is toxic to my system. And it causes digestive problems, gives me headaches. For Therese Apple, Natvia was the answer, a natural sweetener made from plants, stevia and nectars. Just 0.6 calories per serve. You only need minute amounts for sweetness. It doesn't have the aspartame, the chemicals, the artificial colors and flavorings, uh, the things that I want to avoid in my diet. With sugar, you can get the high, uh, sugar high, but then you get the crash afterwards. You avoid that when you use Navia. Well, I can use it in baking, cooking. We use it in our coffee and tea. I feel lighter. I don't get the headaches. I don't have all the digestive issues. We need some sugar in our diet. It gives us energy. It fuels our brain. But if you overdo it, the consequences are a bigger waistline and obesity.